Welcome back to the Talos Principle. There are two things particularly on my mind at the moment. One is this puzzle, which I think I actually partially solved while editing the video for the previous episode. And the other is that I think I now know how to solve a previous mystery. But we'll get to that in a little bit. And that one I'm really excited about. But yeah, while I was editing the video for the, for the previous episode, I realized... Yeah, that thing is trying to escape over there. See, I was looking at this stuff. I was looking at these three turrets and this explosive thing and that thing, but I wasn't looking at that. So I can actually let that out, which must be part of solving this puzzle. I have no idea what to do after that, but I do know that that must be part of it. Okay, so now it's out. So what's that? Is it going to blow up? Yes, okay. All right, I knew I had to blow up at least one of these turrets. And now that that's gone, I should be able to disable this, move the box, and now I can get that one to blow up, right? Come on. Yes, yes. Okay. Sweet. You know, I'd really like to know why they blow up when they get near the turrets, though. It's kind of strange. I mean, what do they detect? Just electrical activity? But it can't simply be electrical activity because they don't detect each other. Because I've seen them going right next to each other and they don't blow up but they detect the activity of the turrets. I don't know. Maybe the turrets have an artificial intelligence and they're just as smart as me and that's what they're detecting? Maybe they have intelligence sensors. How the hell would that even work? Anyway. Um, I already went in there, right? Oh, no, I didn't. There's got to be something in here. Oh, sweet! Wow, that's like a free star. That's weird. It seems too easy. I mean, I had to do this to actually solve the main part of the puzzle, right? And then it's like they're just tossing me a star as a freebie. My second star. I'm so proud of myself. I'm trying to think of where I could use a box. Yeah, I mean, what the hell is that box for? If I hold this box in front of me, does it block the the beams? No, it does not. Uh, maybe I can just jump over this thing. Seems unlikely. No. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right, I forgot. This thing was originally on here. Duh. Okay. I think I... Oh. The weather's clearing up. I think I've discerned some kind of pattern in the sigils. Each color serves a different purpose. Elohim has us gathering them all. But perhaps he's being overzealous? Each color serves a different purpose. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was thinking. The green ones the green ones seem to block progression. The yellow ones seem to be for unlocking new items. And then the red ones, I have no idea. They just seem to be bonuses.
Let's take a peek. Yeah, this is very close to the place where the other star is. I can't see over that damn thing, it's too dull. I'm just trying to think if there's a way for me to get these boxes out of here and escape to another place. Because I know there's another star over there. That place that had two boxes. Nah, I don't think I can do it from here. Okay. So there is that old mystery to solve, but before that, I actually want to take a little bit of a crack at that other star. And by the way, I still have no idea what the hell the paint is for. Something new? Hello? You've received a reply to your su user support ticket. Ooh! An account certification program diagnostic has been performed and no errors were reported. Have you completed the standard troubleshooting procedure? Email the network administrator? I don't think there is a network administrator. Sure, let's try it. Hello? Oh, right. Need network access, which I don't have. So I could delete myself and, I suppose, try again? Uh, let's try to delete it. Delete user account. Didn't I just delete it? Uh, let's create a new account. System will now conduct error. User has no registered account, but certification data already exists. Would you like to undertake the certification process again to achieve a preferable outcome? Well, yes, obviously. That's a weird way to word it, though, to achieve a preferable outcome. Uh. It's almost like it's recognizing that I'm trying to game the system. Yes. Your issues with denial will be appended to your user profile. <laughs> Further attempts to overwrite certification results will be logged. <sighs> that worked. You will receive a notification if your attention is required. Fuck you. It's too smart. Balls. If I answered the questions perfectly the first time, would I have been fine? I wonder. Okay, uh, the star. Which was in the place with a lot of boxes, which is here. So it's like, it's right, it's like right over this wall. So, what was the thing? I think I needed to, like, get both boxes somewhere. Okay, the whole thing's reset. Cool. Like, hold on. Except now I can't get on top of it. Well, fuck balls. I'm too short, I can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, that makes it a hell of a lot easier to see. Okay. Mm. Two boxes would not be enough to get me over this. However, two boxes would probably be enough to get me over... ...that. Because that is significant- that wall is significantly shorter than the wall is over here. So, I think I need to get both boxes to the other side. But I think I need to use one, or at least it seemed like I need to use one to get to the other side. So... See you. Hold on, is there somewhere I can jump up?
on something and then jump onto the box. Hold on, let me try something. That doesn't work. This this pushes me off, but let's see if it can push me off onto the box. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. I still can't jump on that, though. It's too tall. Just think about that ladder. Because it seems like the ladder tries to push you off. You can't... Like, you can't go to the top of the ladder and then just stay on top of the wall. It automatically puts you over. So there's some way to stop that. Because if I could stop right on top of that wall there on that ladder, then I could just walk right right on in. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't get one box over there. Guaranteed. How would I get this one over? I mean, I need to open this. I can't think of how I could get two boxes over there. Let's just take this one over there and see what happens. Oh, right, you fuckers. Oh. I think I touched one of their thingies and it came for me. Okay. Need to be patient. Let's put this halfway, because that should split them as much as possible. Alright, we're good. Yeah, so this is where I need to use the second box, and I can take it up with me. trying to think if I could jump on something. Whoa. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can actually stay on top of that. Ah, no, it pushes me off. This is the view to the star. It's right there. I can jump there as many times as I want. It's not going to help. What did this one say? Yeah, so if I had two boxes here, I'm certain I could jump over it. Well, not certain, but I'm pretty sure. I see there's a wire there. See that yellow wire? What does that hook up to? Pretty sure you can't jump on these things. No. Yeah, one box is just not enough to allow me to jump up onto these things. So I need either two boxes over here or like something with this ladder.
But the ladder just automatically puts me on the other side. I can inch my way up, but... Oh, that's weird. No? Oh, fuck. I have no idea. What in the fuck? Oh yeah, the wire. Where does where does that go? <laughs> what the hell? Where did it go? <gasps> oh, clever bastards. I don't I don't think that actually solves the puzzle. I suspect that's just going to disable the force field inside of there. Which doesn't help me actually get inside of it, but let's see what happens. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Really pays to be observant. That certainly doesn't solve all my problems, though. I need a red beam. Well, not necessarily. I could maybe just get over the wall. In fact, I this little wall here looks short enough. I could probably get over that. But let's see what's around the corner. Oh. But... Oh... Oh, wait a minute. I think I do need to do an inter-level thing. I think I need to put this thing on a bunch of boxes and reach over to one of the other puzzles. Hmm. Now that I'm in a secret area, let's look for any, like, walkie-talkies or something. see any. Alright, well, let's try the box thing first. Um. Shit, I need, I need to get my other box back. Oh no! It's not gonna undo all my progress, is it? Actually, wait a minute. That That's actually helpful. If the boxes are back where they were, then... Yeah, that actually speeds everything along. Alright, so let me first see if I can just get over, which I don't believe I can actually, now that I think about it, because I can't. I don't have any way to actually jump up to the second box. Yeah, these rocks don't even have any collision meshes. I'd just like to point out that I'm pretty sure I could use my arms to climb on top of those boxes, but... Whatever. Stupid weak-ass android thing. Yeah, there's nothing to jump off of. Okay. So... I need a view that allows me to see this and something that supplies red power. So... Well, there shouldn't be any over here. No. Hold on, let me test something. 
I have an idea. I feel like there might be power, red power over here, but even if I could get the power, how would I actually get it to the thing? Let's check. No, there isn't. Anything inside of here? Nope. Okay, what I want to know is, can I place the connector on top of two boxes, even if I can't actually jump on top of two boxes? I believe that's a no. No, it doesn't look like you can. Nope. So where the fuck do I get the power? I know there's another puzzle around here that must have it. I can't even freaking see, though. I only solved half of the puzzle, it turns out. Which other place next to this even has the things? Like, does the one over here? Is there one over here? There isn't one over here. There is no puzzle over there, so I'm not going to get it from there. And the one here doesn't have it, so how... Huh? This one certainly doesn't have any red power. It does have a jammer, though. Have I ever had jammers and connectors in the same level? Can you connect to jammers? Maybe you can. Okay, so if I was to do this... Oh, ho, ho. Well, let's blow up this stuff. Okay, there's nothing in here, right? Other than the free star? Yeah. Okay, so I have a jammer and a box. So I can put this jammer on top of a box, which... might be able to reach over here? No. No, that doesn't do shit. That doesn't help at all. Balls. Where the fuck do I get the red power? Do any of these even have red power? Blue. That's just blue. That's not gonna work. I mean, if none of these have red power, then obviously I'm totally missing something. And I'm not supposed to do an inter-level thing. Okay, this one has red power, but this is so fucking far away! How... How could I possibly get this... Over there? Is there a stack of boxes somewhere? Can... I...
Can the beam go through the thingy? Does it matter? Well, I mean, I can't take this outside. There's nothing to point at. Yeah, this doesn't direct the beam, it just connects the beam. So I can't, like, direct the beam over there to the other one, and I can't even see. I can't even quite see the other entrance. It's right... it's right there. In fact, I bet they cleverly designed this just so you can't quite see the entrance. Which is probably telling me that that's not what you're supposed to do. Maybe. But is there another entrance that could connect with this one? No, there isn't. What the hell? I have no idea how I'm supposed to get that star. This is so weird. It's gotta be something crazy. Okay, there's a box. I should probably get the box. So let's resolve this. This is really fascinating. Oh, whoops. Give me that box. What did the blue thing do? Oh, that allowed me to get the shape, right? Where's the shape? Here. Hmm. There's nothing there to connect to. I mean, what? Is this the only place that has red power? There's there's one more. Oh, hello. And that is a straight shot through. Ooh. I think I just solved it. I, th I think the beams can go through these things. And I'm supposed to c put a connector here, and then put the connector on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's that connector? Give me that connector. I got it. I fucking got it. Boom. Just you wait, just you wait, just you fucking wait. This is gonna work. What do you bet? What do you bet? Yes! Hell yeah! See, I questioned my assumptions. You can't take the items outside of these purple things. But what's to say the beams can't go through the purple things? And what do you know they can? That feels good. That was a really, really cool puzzle. That was very cool. I'm just gonna leave that there because it looks awesome. Ah. The warming feeling of victory. I'm gonna spend this entire episode just solving like three puzzles. Okay, so I just solved two. I solved the red one and then I solved the star. So let's go do a third one. Let's go do the that um, old mystery that I think I know the solution to. And it is the clock thing. So where was the clock thing? It was three or four. I think it was four. No. Long ago, I ship. Here we go. Okay. So if you remember, this QR code does not display. However, I put the um, I translated it myself and put it in the description. And what it says is, the eagle has landed, and then a bunch of complete nonsense, well, not complete nonsense, as you'll see in a second, but a bunch of seemingly random numbers. And then it says, now is the time of tranquility, and I shall rest and observe the earth. 
Um, however, um, someone has been translating the seemingly nonsense that I keep finding around in various notes and QR codes, and it turns out that it's not actually nonsense. It, it's actually hexadecimal that you can translate into ASCII, or translate, or translate from ASCII? To, to, I don't know, whatever. You, you can translate it to text, basically. So, yeah. Let's give some thanks to that person for doing the work of translating all that stuff. Because it reveals quite a bit. Especially about this one particular thing. Because it turns out, after the eagle has landed, the string of numbers that appears to be nonsense, what it actually is, is it that, that nonsense part translates into... A date and a time. And it's a date and a time for the, the actual quote itself, the Eagle Has Landed quote. Which it turns out is actually a quote from Neil Armstrong, which I did not recognize when I first read it. So that was an actual quote given by Neil Armstrong, and... The random, seemingly random string of stuff says the date and the time, so... It was 1969, slash 7, slash 20. And the time was 2018. Now, since I have access to this clock here, I'm guessing the time is probably what I need to set. And... The highest number that I can actually set is... This is 24, right? Yeah, X's are 10, IV is 4. Yeah, so that's 24. So, what, what was it? The first one is the hour hand, the second one is the minute hand? I can't remember, but let's try... Let's try 20 and then 18. So here's 20. And then here's 18. Did anything happen? Hour hand, minute hand. Okay, yeah, that did get set correctly. Wait a minute. No, that's not. Oh, hold on. Well, hmm. This is weird. I mean, if you look at the actual minutes, then it would look like the minutes should actually be set to... 7? For 18? Like, roughly? I wonder if it doesn't actually... Maybe the buttons don't even have to be pressed. To, like the exact time perhaps the clock just needs to go past the correct time and should I be translating the uh, the 2018 from a uh, military time or whatever it is into for lack of a better word normal time I, I don't know I'm like translating between a bunch of different things I mean just think about all the translations this has gone through this has gone from a QR code to text and then the text has been translated from hexadecimal and then Converted into, uh, I guess, decimal, or just looked up on, a, on on an ASCII table, and then translated into text, which gives me a date and time, and then I'm translating the time into Roman numerals and minutes, and this is actually kind of confusing. This has gone through so many different translations. Okay, so let's try. I guess let's try 20 Roman numeral and then minute 7? I, I, I don't really know. Alright, so that should reset the whole thing. This is really weird. I mean, that's obviously the solution. But I just I don't know how to translate it into this. Okay, uh, 7. Five, six, seven, eight, seven. Ooh. Is it... What happened? 
Oh, it's draining. Whoa. Hello, star. This game is so damn cool. <laughs> this game is awesome. That is such a cool puzzle. Again, I just want to step through the different steps of that. Because that was just so cool. So... Let's see what happened. So I discovered there were weird buttons by just kind of running around and looking at these things which have Roman numerals on them. And then I discovered the clock, which is obviously related to the Roman numerals. It, it maps each Roman numeral to a time. And then there's the QR code, which you can't read on its own. But the QR code was translated into text, which contained a bunch of numbers which were hexadecimal. And if you convert those hexadecimal numbers by looking them up on an ASCII table and you convert them into actual text, they give you a date and time. And then the time, which is in military time or whatever it's called, you know, 2018. You convert the, the hours, the 20, into the Roman numeral 20. Right there. And then you convert the minutes into, well the minute that is mapped to the Roman numeral. So 18 is obviously right, ab uh, right about where Roman numeral 7 is. And then that solves it. That is incredibly cool. It feels so very satisfying to solve. And once again, thanks to the person who translated the hexadecimal into actual text, because if it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have solved it. Okay, well, I didn't make much I didn't make much progress in terms of going to new areas, but the progress the progress that I did make felt incredibly satisfying. Alright, so the next place to move on to is number six. But I think I will save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.